Con Contemplative Wicca by Teresa Chubb. Reflection Reflections on Contemplative Contemplative Practice for Pagans. So you do get six chapters and what um, like would be contained in each chapter. So each chapter ends with a, like its own conclusion slash summary of what was being talked about. And to me, it like the con contemplative like Wicca kind of merged itself in with traditional Wicca. Yeah, there can there are points that can be put into practice in other pagan paths, but to me, I got the more traditional Wicca view into it. So, and like in the introduction, uh, the author goes to writing, if we can see God as the the God uh, of all that is and can see the see that we uh, simple as one family along with all creation, then the benefits of monotheism for far outweigh any drawbacks. The monotheism I advocate is not strict man, strict monotheism, rather it's panentheism, a unity where God is both imminent and trans transcendent. Uh, so you do get that <laughs> kind of view without within the book. So you do see where the author is coming from when writing the things in this book. So he states that like there are similarities between contemplative and traditional Wicca, the two being the con contemplative side and rather than a static prayer and the belief in one god and i haven't looked much into traditional wicca but i'm pretty sure they still go along the path of god and goddess you can correct me down below in the comments but again it's been a little while since i strictly was a pregnant wiccan practitioner and I haven't really gone into the tr traditional side of it. So comment down below and nicely informed. As I was saying, battery died. And you do get points from resources put into um, brackets or own paragraph. Um, you do get information with um, author's own personal beliefs in, um, combined in, into it. And so terms and ideas are thrown at reader, not for, like to me, not for the total beginner. And it, like to me, for someone who does have set, like the belief system already like set up within themselves. So, and like saying, this is the path that I have, I am going with. So, like, at times there can be, like, Christian um, influence under, like, Wiccan pagan rapping, but that's just the one um, God referencing to me. So, but again, you can comment down below and... Um, tell me a little more about the reasoning in the contemplative Wicca, traditional Wicca difference and all that. So, yeah, if you are a person who is more on that monotheism Wiccan path, you do now have a, 
a book or a, an additional book at your resource. So, yeah, I contemplated Wicca by Teresa Chap. Happy readings.